Fox News Flash Top Entertainment and Celebrity Headlines are here. Graham Edge, a drummer and co-founder of the Moody Blues, has died. He was 80. The group's frontman, Justin Hayward, confirmed Edge's passing Thursday on the band's website. The cause of death has not been revealed. Hayward, 75, described Edge as the backbone of the British rock band, which was inducted into the Rock Roll Hall of Fame in 2018. Their last album was released in 2003. Jerry Douglas, longtime young in the restless sector, dead at 88 inductee Graham Edge of the Moody Blues attends the 33rd annual Rock Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony at Public Auditorium on April 14, 2018 in Cleveland, Ohio, photo by Jeff Kravitz slash Film Magic slash Getty. Images, when Graham told me he was retiring I knew that without him it couldn't be the Moody Blues anymore, Hayward said. And that's what happened. It's true to say that he kept the group together throughout all the years because he loved it. In 1964, Edge Co. founded the group in Birmingham, England. His drumming expertise was a key ingredient for the band's massive prog rock hits between the 1960s, 70s including Nights in White Satin, Tuesday Afternoon and I'm Just a Singer in a rock and roll band. Hayward joined the Moody Blues in 1966 with bassist John Lodge after Denny Lane departed from the band. Click here to sign up for the entertainment newsletter Moody Blues L, R, Denny Lane, Clint Warwick, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge, and Mike Pinder. Photo by Gab Archive slash Redfern slash Getty Images, in the late 1960s we became the group that Graham always wanted it to be, and he was called upon to be a poet as well as a drummer, Hayward explained. He delivered that beautifully and brilliantly while creating an atmosphere and setting that the music would never have achieved without his words. I asked Jeremy Irons to recreate them for our last tours together and it was absolutely magical. Edge was featured in the Moody Blues 16 studio albums starting with the Magnificent Moody's in 1965 and ending with their final album, The Christmas, themed December in 2003. Lodge took to the band's Facebook page where he paid homage to Edge. Click here to get the Fox News app drummer slash songwriter Graham Edge of the Moody Blues performs at Hard Rock Live. In the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel Amp Casino on January 10, 2018 in Hollywood, Florida, photo by Johnny Louis slash Getty Images, to me. He was the white eagle of the North with his beautiful poetry, the 76-year-old shirt. His friendship, his love of life and his unique style of drumming that was the engine room of the Moody Blues, I will miss you Graham. The Associated Press contributed to this report.